narco, got dope like Pablo, Pablo, cut dope like Pablo, cut dope, chop tree with the Draco. Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do these croc print nails. They look like this. And I got this idea from Ice by Bri Bri. All you're gonna need for this design is some gel polish, a liner brush, and some clear acrylic. The gel polish I'm using is by Beatles in the shade A734. My liner brush I found on Amazon. I'll link my storefront below. And my clear acrylic, I'm using Hot Hands by him. For the first nail, I'm just gonna outline the bottom half of the nail and then fill it in. It doesn't have to be straight. As you can see, I did like a little squiggly line. It doesn't have to be straight because that's where your pearls are gonna be later. As I'm outlining the nail and filling it in, I'm just gonna check all my sides just to make sure everything looks good. And then I'm gonna wipe the sides of my nail and then I'm gonna cure it in the lamp. I'm just gonna speed through this one because it's exactly the same as the other. You're just gonna repeat the same steps on whatever fingers that you want to look, you know, the same or you can do you know, different designs on each one. It's really up to you. Now for this one, I'm gonna go the top half. I'm like, I'm gonna do the top half. So I saw her do this on one of the nails and I thought it was real cute. So I'm gonna outline the top half and I'm gonna fill the top half in with the gel polish applicator brush. Now once you're done filling it in and cleaning it up, you're still gonna go back in with the liner brush. The liner brush part is very important. Do not forget this step because that's how you get those crispy, you know, crispy lines. Again, it don't really matter because we're gonna be covering it with pearls this time, but any design that you do, you wanna make sure you have a liner brush so that you can get like a crispy line. Now I'm just repeating this step so it can be darker. I wanna fill it in. This gel polish is a little bit clear, so I'm just gonna go back in and do the same thing again. Now up close, y'all gonna notice that my thumb is significantly shorter than the other fingers, okay? And I do this because your thumb is what helps you pick up things. So sometimes when I do my girls' nails, I let them know that, you know, you can always make your thumb a little bit shorter. Like, because nobody's gonna notice from a distance. Like, y'all can probably tell because it's y'all close up on my hands right now. But it really doesn't make a difference and it makes your life easier. Now I'm bringing out the clear acrylic. This is for the crop print design. As y'all can see right now, I'm just mapping out where I want my little dots. You want them to be kind of thick. And this is gonna give you that bubble effect. I'm just staggering the dots. And as I get closer to the top, I'm just gonna make them um, look more like dots instead of lines, if that makes sense. Once you have your dots looking the way that you want them to look, you just gonna go ahead and pour a whole bunch of clear acrylic on top. And this is gonna give it that matte look it's gonna be like a matte effect 
and then you're gonna stick it right in the lamp and dust them off. This is what it looked like. I got out of the frame on the middle finger, so I'm just going to speed through this part a little bit more, and y'all can just watch. But I'm pretty much just doing the same thing on every single nail that I put this pink on. Now on this finger, I got in real close because I made a mistake and I wanted y'all to see the mistake so y'all can see how I correct it. Mistakes happen here. Okay, so y'all can see I kind of put my dots a little too close together. So I'm just going to wipe it clean. I'm just going to take my brush, wipe it clean, and then I'm going to redo the line. I'm just going to make the line a little thicker. And, and because I made the mistake the first time, I'm not going to try again and add that little dot. It's not that important. I wanted it to look a little more neat. So I'm going to go back and fix both of those lines. It is so hard to stay in frame when you're recording these videos. So props to whoever the master this technique. But I'm just going to do the same thing with this thumb. The thumb is it's no different. Y'all know I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, put my little dots. And I flip my hand upside down for the thumb because it's just easier to put them on that way. And you're just going to clean it up, powder it up, and stick it in the lamp. Y'all gonna come to find out that I'm a little backwards and sometimes I forget certain steps like top coating your nail before you do your design. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my liner brush with the clear gel polish that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna outline the nails, every last one of them, and then I'm gonna just fill them in with the gel polish applicator. Now, of course, you always want to clean up, clean up those sides, because then if you don't clean up the sides, you're going to end up with gel polish all around your fingers, and that's not cute. So after you finish applying your gel polish, you just want to go ahead and wipe everything down, wipe all the sides, and I'm just using some um, acetone, or you can use alcohol to do that, and then I'm just going to wipe my sides clean and stick them back in the lamp. My little thumb, I just like to do that one last. Like, I don't know if y'all had the same problem when y'all doing your nails, but for my girls, they have the same problem sometimes where if you stick your thumb in the lamp, sometimes it don't get enough light. Like, it don't seem like it get enough light like the rest of the fingers. So I just always do my thumb last, most, you know, most times. I do my thumb last and just stick it in at a different angle. I'm not going to
Right here, I'm using my cart rhinestone glue. It's a gel, and I like to use that to apply my stones. Since I'm a little backwards, again, I like to do everything backwards. I don't know why, I just do. I'm only going to be showing y'all this one nail in this video. And after that, I'm just going to be showing y'all some pictures of how they came out. So I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch y'all the next time. Narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope.